Hello guys, how you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be playing Atari 2600. Now we're not going to be playing any particular game. We're just going to be playing a few games, having a little go on them. A bit of nostalgia, having a look at the old, the old games. So to, at the moment we have a crossbow inserted into the machine. So let's get started and give it a go. Now this game's quite smart. It's quite a smart little game because it's got actually quite a lot of levels you can actually choose from on here. I mean, you only get to choose like two things. I don't know exactly how it works, but you choose one of the things. Like if I choose the red one there, I go to the volcano. I don't know if the colours vary in difficulty or what it is, but oh. The red one has brought me here anyway to the volcano. And the idea of this game, if you've not played it before, is to ooh, <laughs> actually try not to die straight away. Now the idea of it is to try and help your fella or fellas get across the screen, your characters, by shooting the crossbow at the various things that are being dropped from the sky or thrown at them. And you've just got to rescue them and get them to the other side of the screen. So let's try the green one this time. That's taking me to the desert looking... Yep, straight in the desert. Looks like a few... Um... Oh, oh. Ah, I let my guy get eaten by <laughs> some strange bug of some type. Some giant... Oh, there's another one. This one looks like a scorpion, though, and it's biting us. Oh, there's a bat. There's a bat in his. There's a bat in his hair. <laughs> he got killed by a bat. Unless he had rabies, you know, maybe it probably wouldn't have killed him. But well, it might be a vampire bat biting his neck. Right, I'm, I can't seem to start in this. Let's press select. I think I've. Oh no, I am frozen again. Mate. Let's see if I can actually choose by pressing on something. Let's go to the green one again. No, it's just taking us up to the. We've gone up to the desert again. Let's actually let's actually try and do a bit good and get this guy through the desert. So you can actually get him to the other side this time. You get a certain amount of characters and you score points by killing these things that are trying to eat him. And I suppose by getting guys across the screen. Guys and gals across the screen. I think it's mostly guys, to be honest. I can't really see no gals. They all look like um, strange wizards or farmers or something. I suppose they're in ye, ye oldy, ye oldy clothing from the old days. Clerics and what not's and what is happening here now I can't control the thing. do you know what I think I've done I think I've put this on two player or something where's the other joystick yep I put it on two player let's select the blooming thing <laughs> I tell you what there is three four five six seven eight yeah I've hit the I've hit the flipping let's start again <laughs> that one a very good start was it I hit the um I must have hit the select button I want to go to the castle. I don't think you. Can, I think you go to the castle later, if I remember, because I have. I haven't completed this game. I mean, I think you can actually complete this game. Ooh, a lot of Atari 2600 games they don't actually have an ending, but I'm not sure. Quick, quick, quick! Some strange eye comes up to watch you. I just got it. I had to get back before something got him on the head. As I say, and I don't think I'm not sure if you can actually complete this one, but I've never actually done all the stages. I mean, this one's quite it's not the easiest stage, but oh, it's not the hardest either. But oh, level complete. I think I got an extra guy then because I got one across. So see now there's another green one, and a red one, and a blue one, so let's go for blue, let's see where that takes me. 
Ooh, I think that's taking me to my worst place ever. I never survived this place. This place is horrible. There are these monkeys throwing poop at you or something. I think I think they're throwing poop at you. That's what monkeys usually throw at you, isn't it? There's a flower that can actually kill you. Stop throwing your poop at me, you disgusting. Oh, you can actually... I forgot you can actually shoot the monkeys. Ah, uh, ah, uh, not just the... Uh, death by monkey poop. <laughs> Imagine dying from monkey poop. Well, that's what just happened. Um, oh, I'm actually selecting stages with my joystick. I didn't actually realise that. The numbers on the bottom. Oh, let's just let's put it back on one, because I think that's actually just one player. I didn't know you could select them with the joystick. That's what must have happened earlier. No, I can't actually select the thing. So, let's go... Yeah, it looks like you've just got to remember. I think red goes to volcano because fire maybe, and green goes to the desert. Oh, first you've got to get this little bit of rock there to put over the, make a bridge so you can go across. And it's not the graphics aren't too bad. Do you think it? Do you think it looks like a volcano with with lava coming? I think. For a tie 2600 though it does it does a good job I think oh, am I am I just so so useless at this game let's let's have another go maybe a, no it's just have one go let's have one more go let's go for the desert this time let's have one more go and then I'll put in the next selection the next game selection I got a little pie already waiting to be played oh 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 he's got me he's got me <laughs> oh, oh, oh. i nearly got eaten oh no look at look at look at oh got him. he got that sucker oh the bat the bat oh that oh i hate that bat <laughs> i hate that bat that's what got me last time on there but there's a worm up there he can't do nothing can he he's right up there get that bat this time before he comes near me I think we're doing quite good, we're doing quite good. We're gonna get the guy across the desert. On to the next level where we maybe have poop thrown in our hair and this time I won't pick blue. Oh we're not on the blue or anything there. What happens if I pick green again? I do do I go to the desert again then? Oh no, that's what happened last time, wasn't there? No, that no blue was the monkeys, wasn't it? It was blue was the monkeys. Oh no, I forgot about this level. I forgot all about this level. No! <laughs> and hand me bats. There's just lots of bats on this level. <laughs> My worst nemesis. I got the eye. You'll see an eye of Endor. Oh, are you? No. <laughs> oh well, let's get the next game in. Come on, let's see what we got now. Take off crossbow. And I'm actually playing these games on in. A well, quite modern flat screen television, but it seems to work well for some reason. Usually, it doesn't work so well on flat screen tellies, but this one seems to work quite well with it. Oh, let's press select, and this game is Cubert, which is one of my all time favorites. I mean, I just remember as a kid, like the the colours of the game is just so like vibrant, all the colours and the sound effects. Just this little man with his pointy nose on the screen. Oh, I was so lucky. Eh? Just, it was one of my favourite games as a kid, and <laughs> I mean, I got a lot of lot of nostalgia of this game. Got a lot of good memories from playing this. Another game I've got lots of memories of is Action Force. I I loved that game. I was you couldn't get me off that game for love nor money. I played that one to death. I probably wore out the cartridge for played it so much. I do have the game again. I have done a little well. I did a little video on it. It wasn't the best, but a while back. But I'll do another video on it again one day. I think. Action Force for the Atari 2600. A paddle game. You guy used the paddles for that game. Ooh, 
Uh. <laughs> Again, I just love, I love the simplicity of the tie traces, but I mean the games are just so, they're so simple that sometimes that's what you need in your life, you just need a little bit of simple. Sit there and have a bit of uncomplicated fun. No huge missions and whatnot. Oh no, I was trying to outsmart the snake and I got caught in a corner. No huge missions, life or death missions or anything, just simple playing for high score. Ooh. Just having a lot of fun doing it. I remember at one time I used to turn my joystick on the side to play this game because the controls are a bit weird. They, I mean, you press left to sort of jump up left, down to jump down left, etc. Up to jump up right, and right is down right, and it it gets a little confusing. I mean, if you if you've only just sort of bought this game or something and you're a bit disappointed because the controls are so hard maybe you can do what I used to do and put the joystick on its side but um, I think when I bought, re-bought this game not long ago I did play it on the side for a little bit but then I didn't find it too hard to sort of get back into how how the little fellow moves. I mean now and again your brain will sort of you'll sort of forget. <laughs> your brain won't move ah oh, won't move quick enough and you'll sort of forget which way is which <laughs> forget which way you're supposed to press on the joystick. So go which direction. So it's all up down left right and all over the place in it really. Yeah I earned an extra life. But most of all, mostly like you, once you've played it for a while, you, you will actually just get the hang of it. Ooh. I've got them little, ooh, got them little platforms there. <laughs> that was the shortest little ride ever, wasn't it? Got them little platforms which can save you. And you can sometimes trick this snake. You know he's going up there, so. You just lead, lead him astray like that. Ooh, I'm getting heavier because so I'm going to get trapped. Quick jump off the snake. Oh, I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me when the eggs got me. <laughs> and then these little green men that come down sometimes and annoy you, they... I think it's the green ones. They tend to turn your blocks back the same damn colour. And if you haven't played this game before... <laughs> I haven't actually mentioned that the uh, the aim of the game, as you can probably tell by now, is to jump on the different colours. And there was one of those nasty little green things again. I would have done that level, but he changed my ah, I changed my blocks. And the idea is to jump on the different blocks, changing their colour all to the. You've got to change them all to the same colour, and some some levels you've got to change them twice to different two different colors and I think the color is I'm not sure if the color they changed to is displayed I think oh there's that little green man <laughs> there's one guy when when you get him it sort of freezes the action and you can sort of jump around I don't you I don't think you can jump on the bad guys then and kill them like in Pac-Man or something, but you can jump around and get the blocks quickly before everything unfreezes. Yeah, see, my name was yellow at the top, the blocks were yellow this time. I've got to change them to blue, and my name at the top is blue. It sort of shows you, shows you the sort of colour they're going to be changed to. <laughs> and he has his little swear. He has a little swear when he gets caught and loses a life. Ooh. Like I said, you sometimes there's that little thing that freezes it. It's like a little green egg. There you go. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. 
I was just going to say some of them you get to are just black and white, and here we are, black and white. <laughs> it's the black and white level. No colour on this one. We'll make this the last go on this game and we'll chuck in another game in a minute. Have a bit of fun on that. This one, this is yellow again. Ooh. Oh, that egg's coming straight for me in that. Yeah, you got him. Oh, there's that nasty little. Got him. <laughs> Oh, this is another two, two color block change. We got to change it from yellow, from blue to yellow to yellow to green. All the time, I these things chasing you. There's a snake. Oh, you see, you can out, you can fool him, out fool him sometimes. Out, out fool him. I think I just out fooled myself. Out smart him sometimes when you can see where he's going and then. Sometimes you don't even have to use the lifts to get away from the snake. You've got to watch what you're doing because all the time you've got them eggs coming down as well, which are really annoying. Oh, now I've got to change them. Um, some of them are hard, but there's some. Oh, there he is again. There's not many down there, change. Oh, give me over here. Some of them are hard and they don't actually lock into the colour. They change a couple of times, but they don't actually lock in. I think that's probably why they got the name at the top showing the colour. Because on them sort of levels, you don't know what colour they're supposed to be at the end, maybe. Because they don't actually lock in. Oh no, I'm going to get caught. Yeah, oh, I should have stayed where I was, and then he would have gone up the top, and I could have gone. I could have snuck by him the other way. <laughs> Whichever way it was, I've gone. There you go. Yeah, the ones that don't lock in, they are the worst because then you've got, if you re-step on one of your blocks, it'll change the colour again. I nearly jumped the wrong way then, I got a little bit confused. This isn't it, this is, this one's there locking in yellow this time. I nearly never made, nearly didn't make this video today because I went for I went to work earlier this morning, came home, decided to go on quite a long bike ride at my local canal and I was completely knackered when I got home. <laughs> but I chirped up a bit of it after having half a cheesecake and half a cheesecake and a packet of chicken roast chicken walkers crisps I think it was <laughs> oh here's one where you can't see the sides I change them to pink oh I should not have risked that I should not have risked that and there you go I am dead again <laughs> dead by dawn come on let's just let's put in an old one now where's the off button I've got the lights out because the otherwise the light glints off the screen. How long we've we been doing this? Nearly 20 minutes. So let's have a look. What one should we check on? I think I'll check on. Let's check on basketball. This is this is this is basically. Ooh, let's see if we can see it. This is basically a fun little game. I've got to change my joystick because this is for the one player mode on this. So I've got to be plugged into port two. So here we go. Let's select game two because that's the one. And this game is so simple that it is just, I find it fun. I find it quite fun. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> It's quite hard as well, especially on the joystick I've got now. And I'm using my other joystick, which is, as you know, every... Oh, oh yes. Every joystick sportsman has an excuse 
as to why he's not doing very well. And mine is my stiff joystick. Ooh, oh. oh, he got back off me. Oh no, that is me. <laughs> I thought I was the green. I was... What am I the green one just now? Oh, it's neck and neck at the minute. Oh, get back. <laughs> you, once he's chucked it, I don't think there's any real chance you've got of knocking it back away from the, like, out of the... Out of the hoop, I couldn't think of the name of the... Oh, nearly. I, I think that was just miles away, to be honest, but... And he's winning, it's 8-4. It's 8-4, i got to try and... i got to try and bring this back, guys. Come on. Let's concentrate. Oh. <laughs> and for a simple game, it's quite actually quite fun. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought I had that. Get away. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I'm bright. But he's got ten. I need another one. Oh, no, he's got another one. So you get two points each one, don't you? So. Each hoop. Come on, let's try and get off him. No! Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, he's got it off me again. <laughs> yes, he missed. He missed. Do you think I've got a chance now? What's the time on? The time, the time basically counts down on this game, and it's who's got the highest... Oh, score when it counts down to the end. Ooh. And if you've been put off this game by how sort of not very good it looks, <laughs> graphic-wise, I mean, it's, it's actually quite a bit of fun. I mean, I mean, you won't play it. Ooh, you won't play it for hours on end. Maybe with a friend, like it might be on the two-player goals, might be more fun, but... Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh yes! <laughs> Come on, is that going in? Can I even get it in from up there, or am I too far off that? I think you can, yeah. Yeah, because I got it from the bottom there. I need one more, I think. I need one more to get... Oh no, where's that going? Oh, that could have gone in, that could have gone in. This is a long shot, this is a long shot. Oh yes! He's not going to beat me, guys. I got this. I got this. It, it, oh, it's, it's neck and neck. It's neck and neck. No, he can't get this. Oh, yeah. oh no, he's got it. Oh, no. Did I just throw that myself? <laughs> what happened then? I could have sworn I threw that myself. My thumb caught the button. Oh, no. I'm going to use cheap tactics in a minute. I know a cheap tactic, but I haven't been using it, but... Ah, oh, I've lost them. I've lost this guy. <laughs> I've lost this. No, never, never say never. Never say die. Come on, I, I got this. I'm gonna get this. Eat that sucker! Oh, you've got to be kidding! No, no, he's gonna get one. He's gonna get one. Oh no! We got seconds to go. Seconds to go. Ah oh, no! <coughs> seconds to go, and I'm coughing. Come on, come on, come on. I haven't got time to cough. Oh, it was a draw. So it ended in a draw, so that wasn't the best. That wasn't the best result. That's not the result I wanted. I wanted to win this thing. So that is basketball. Should we have one more go on? Let's have one more go on basketball. I mean, it's not the most like exciting game to watch, is it? But oh, Maybe I'll show you the cheat as well. The cheat is <laughs> to not be me, basically, and you might have a chance of winning. The cheat don't seem to be working at the moment. No, but the cheat is, I think, if you stand up right at the top of the screen and he tries to get the ball off you, as he's not now, maybe i found a new cheat then. Ah, I can't catch him. I wish <laughs> you could run faster. Did I actually stop it then? Ugh. No, but the cheat I used to do is to go against the top of the screen like that, and it's, it doesn't seem to work anymore. <laughs> I used to be able to stop, the, stop him taking the ball off me by sort of going against the top like that, and it sort of jiggles up and down quickly. And... You can sort of get the ball easier and sort of keep it as well easier if you do it right. 
Oh, that that, was, that wasn't meant to go in then, was it? It's so bounced. Oh, no. He's just better than me, isn't he? No, I'm going to beat him. I'm going to beat him this time. He ain't got a chance. Get away! <laughs> he took it off me. Yes, I got it. I regained possession of the ball. I got that. Oh, I got this. I got this game this time. You ain't seen nothing yet, buddy. Oh, oh see that? Did I just get two points? I think you just get two points wherever you shoot it from, really, to be honest. I don't think the... Ooh. Oh, I don't think the court is big enough to have, like... Well, you could, you could do long. You could do different points for different distances, I suppose, can you? Because it is... You know, it's not that small. <laughs> Oh, oh! I stole it. Stole that. Oh no! If this ends up as a draw, guys, <laughs> I'm not gonna be happy. Ah, yeah, daddy, for a bloody win then. Ah, oh, no. Oh no. So this game. What do you think of it, guys? It is, it is a lot of fun. It is. I seriously love fun. It will kill your bloody wrists, though. My wrists are killing me after playing this. Ha <laughs> ha I done the little cheat on him. I got him at the top. I'm not even looking at the score now. I'm just... I just looked. I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> I was just. I think I cursed myself by looking. See, <laughs> you can't take it off me. Ah, oh, he took it off me. <laughs> I got it back. I got. Ah, oh, no. Oh, he's won. He's won this. No, he's not won. He's not won. Oh, I missed. I missed. That could have been the. That could have been the game changer. I missed. No, I keep missing. Guys, I nearly brought it back. I nearly brought it back, man. Ah, oh, he won. He won by one. He won by one. No, he won. Yeah, by one. Um, one hoop gives you two points, don't it? Ah, oh, I can't believe that. I wanted my last game to be the one I won, but no chance. Come on, let's chuck another one in. What have we got for you now, guys? Um, have a quick one. Um, let's have a look. This way we look. I'm going to stick Venture in. Venture is a good game. Back to the other joystick. Right, and this game, I remember I bought this game a few years back. Not too many, two, maybe three years ago. And I just played the hell out of it. I just got so addicted to it. That's one of those games where you've got to use your imagination on. Oh, on the levels, basically. This is like the Cave of Spiders. <laughs> Will I survive the Cave of Deadly Tarantulas? Ah, can't even get in the bloody cave. You know what I mean? You've just got to, you, you just got to, <laughs> you just got to have fun with it, haven't you? And... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's this one niggle I don't like about this game is that <laughs> it's that I'm rubbish. I haven't played it. I haven't played it for a while now. I played it to death when I got it, and then no, it's it's the trying to shoot in a certain direction and quickly like I'll press down and quickly shoot, and instead of shooting down, I'll shoot sideways or something. It's like the, I think it's the speed in which he changes the direction of his bullet on his little face. Look at his little face. Oh, look at his little face. And if you spend too much time... If you... Ooh, ooh. I'm out of here. If you spend too much time in a dungeon... That demon... Demon comes. Here you go. Here's the... Um, 
the cave of the dragons here, the dragon's lair. The dra oh, it got killed. <laughs> so let's start again. Off to the drag. I think I might go to a different cave this time. Let's go up to. Oh my god. Two headed giants. The two headed giants. The kingdom of the two headed giants, I was. I mean, you've got to forget that you're sort of just. Gotta try and use your imagination. I'm not actually just going to the giant T in the right hand top right hand corner. Ah! <laughs> this is the Gargoyles Palace or something, I don't know. <laughs> so let's get going. Let's go let's go back in these spiders. Ooh, it's the spider's web in this. The... Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Someone's there practice. <laughs> Let's get back in there. And on the Atari 2600, this only actually has... There's two levels, basically. There's this one, and then there's another one with... It has different enemies on it, and... Oh, you still have to use your imagination. <laughs> They've actually done this one in the shape of a face as well. I always, I always think of a clown when I see it. It looks like a clown's face. Like a scary clown face or something. Right, I've got the key. Now I'm running to the hills. Made it. Let's go to the... Is this the gargoyles? Ooh. Dungeon of the Dungeon of Gargoyles or something. I'm not very good at imagination things. <laughs> You've got to be a li Everyone's got a little bit of imagination. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Why did he come so quick? I can't remember him coming that quick. He, he must do though, because he did. And I died. Is that it? That's game over, I think. Unless that was just my last life anyway. So let's go for it again. We'll have one more go on this. Now, this is our last go. <laughs> and as you can see, you can go back out. Sometimes, frustratingly by accident, as I did then. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's the difficulty in... I mean, to shoot, you've got to move the direction you're shooting. Sort of, basically. So sometimes, you're right next to a creature and you don't really want... I mean, you move to shoot at it, and you just move into it, basically, and hit it, so... And they dodge around, so... Oh, I have got it on difficulty A, but A, by the way, so... I oh, usually have my games on difficulty A. You can put it on difficulty B, it's probably... Oh, it's probably a bit easier then. Probably not, though. <laughs> Take that. Oh. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. I think it wouldn't be so bad if that damn demon wasn't in the back of your mind. Here he comes. Get, but you can't shoot the demons. <laughs> it's got to it's got to run for the hills, basically. Ooh, let's go back to the gargoyles. So basically, you've got this time limit. The creatures you kill, if you run into them after they're dead, their bod their dead bodies kill you. So basically, you can't touch them. So basically. You've got to wait for him to disappear, which is... Uh, <laughs> when that demon is on his way, you don't really want to wait. <laughs> dragon's lair. I hate the dragon's lair. Uh, they usually get me. Because the, the dragon bounces around so damn... <laughs> all over the place. Gotta get my crane, come on. Are oh, you... <laughs> I, I couldn't wait. I was too impatient. I wanted to get the crane because the demon was on his way. <laughs> I ran straight into it. Right, let's get another one on. I think we might be, um, yeah, we're going into like 34 minutes now, so if anyone still is watching this, um, I've got a, I've got two more games now, so I might just play one of them. Haunted House or Moon Patrol? Let's chuck Moon Patrol on. Unless I just have a really quick go on both. Is Moon Patrol? This is a pretty good game. This is a pretty awesome game, to be honest. 
do, 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 do. Now you play the part of this little car here, and you can you can jump over holes, you can shoot upwards and forward. Well, when you shoot, you shoot upwards and forward anyway. And you can speed up and slow down. And these spaceships come above you, which is a bit like it's almost like you're playing um, a space invader type game, but with these little piles of what look like poop on the floor. You know, <laughs> they do. They do actually look like poop. You can't admit they look like dog poop. And these holes. And the holes. It looks easy at the minute, but those holes actually get oh more difficult because sometimes you'll get two holes together, one after the other, and you'll jump one, and you've got to control your speed so you don't. Oh, I went too slow. <laughs> You've got to control your speed so you don't land straight in the second hole, which I often, very often do. That's the hard part of this game, I think. Ooh, didn't see that hole come in there. You see that? Pile of poop. I think that's alien poop. Maybe this is where we've actually gone to Mars, but it looks like it's green bushes or something behind me, so. I think they're just they're mar Martian mountains, they're not actually green in the sense of bush type green and also the music on this if you've got it on difficulty a you have this music but if you flip it onto difficulty b the music goes off i don't know if the difficulty changes as well but a bit strange there i don't know if the the music oh stick up oh see what i mean <laughs> i couldn't because i was going so fast i couldn't land in time to shoot that poop, you have to land, shoot the poop, and then jump the hole quickly. Shoot the poop. I mean, this this marsh and rocks. And there you go. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I did it, but then I was going too slow to um, get over. And that is Moon Patrol. That is a really good game. I love that game to bits, but um, like I said, it can be a bit frustrating with the jumping. <laughs> so let's have a quick go now on the next one. Which I've already blurted out the name of, so I've already given it away. It's Haunted House. No end in the video, because you don't want to see Haunted House now. But it's, you can move his eyes at the start. <laughs> that's that's the whole game, mind you. It doesn't do nothing else. Now we just start this game. Let's go on level one. And the idea of this game is to run around this dark, spooky haunted mansion and you've got to collect the pieces of an urn like a vase urn a vase i think it's an urn and you've got to take them out this door once you get all the pieces but what i do is i like to take if i get a piece i like to take it and dump it here it looks like i've got a couple of pieces there don't it, it looks like I've the problem is you don't know which door oh and those monsters come <laughs> and you can press button and you use a match you got a lot you i think you got endless matches i don't know but you can sc ah! <laughs> door was locked <laughs> the door the door was locked and i had no escape and no escape there you go i lost a life but i mean you know you can score the game on how many matches you've used etc etc and So if you've got a friend to play with, then to play this game with, I have to rephrase that a minute. If you've got a, a friend to play this game with, then you can sort of have competitions on how, how who can do it using the least matches and visiting the least amount of rooms, etc. I think. Oh yeah, and you get this little wand thing here, which basically wards off the evil creatures but you can only carry one item at a time so now I've got a piece of that so I had to drop the wand and now I'm going to try and find my way back out to the blue room I mean if you play this quite a lot I think I remember up through here is the blue up through the top left of the orange is the blue room there you go if I got it all I got it all. <laughs> There's only two pieces. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> there you go. And as it goes on, it does actually get harder. 
I mean, if you select a different setting, I mean, here's one, this is setting two. I'm not a big fan of, I don't know why they didn't do more with the walls, but these settings, you can't even see the walls. <laughs> you you like your match and you can see the walls, but I, it's, I suppose it's a bit spookier, you don't know where the hell you're going. You can still see what colour room you're in. I've got a piece of vase. This time it's only one little piece of vase. I don't know how I somehow got all those pieces of ours. It's like pieces of vase or urn or whatever it is last time. I mean, you could sort of still go, get around, see. Ooh, my match right. Ooh, it's another piece. <laughs> see, and now it's going in a lot, a lot less pieces at a time. And when the bad guys appear, your... Well, let's go back for it. When the bad guys appear, your match goes out. I think they blow your match out. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> and I don't know if there's a key on this one, but some of the levels have got a key. Ah! Oh, I got the the what? Did, hang on, did I still have my? Yeah, I dropped my vase in. Some of the levels you. I got I got the whole vase. I can get out of here. <laughs> Some of the levels you've got to have the key to get through certain doors, which makes it harder because you can only carry one thing. So sometimes you've got to drop the piece of vase to get the key to sort of get through. And you don't know where you're going sometimes, but you do learn it. You sort of learn the colours. Like I said, the top left of the orange room is usually back out of the blue room. Stuff like that. You learn you learn the colours as you're going along. I've never done all the levels. I can't remember how many there are. Ooh, what have I pressed there? That was, <laughs> that was the player two difficulty button. There's nine. So let's, let's try number nine. I don't know if any of them are two player. Let's just try number nine and then I think we'll... We'll sort of wrap it up then. We'll end it there. I mean, see there are a lot more... There are a lot more locked doors now. Oh, I can't get through the top right of the orange there. So that one off to the left of there. The one to the left of the orange then, that was one. It took me to the blue room as well. Urgh. I can't get through. Ah, <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. I'm in the blue room, but I've sort of gone to like a dead end where I can't get through. How did I get here before? Did I go this way? No, that goes to the green room. Ah, oh, my lord's alive. Lord's alive, a lordy. See, this is this. <laughs> this is what I mean. This one is. Oh, oh, I've been forward. Ah, I'm chased by a ghost, and I couldn't get away. The door was locked. I don't know why I kept trying <laughs> get through the locked door. I, I, ah, I think I'm just panicking. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> right, let's let's find our way. Uh help. help. <laughs> I've done it again. Yeah, and you can see how much harder this one is now. I've never gone through them all. I've done a few of the ones where you need a key, etc. But oh, I got the one by one my like, I wanna take my thing with me. This is the orange one, so Oh no, the top left of the orange isn't taking me to blue now, is it? Oh, unless this isn't a different one. This is like more of a yellowy one. Oh, I got a key. I got a key, but... If I use the key... Where do I need to use the key to get to? <laughs> do you see what I mean? If I use the key, I'm, I'm going to have to drop the vase. I got the whole vase now. Can I carry the key when I got the whole vase? Let's try it. I lost the key! <laughs> I think it was through you and it. Oh, I can't get through that way. Ah, he's chasing me. I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> Ow. Oh, no. At least I still got my bars. <laughs> Problem is, I can't find my way. Oh. I'm, oh. I thought I could hide behind the door he came through. <laughs> oh, I can. Oh. <laughs> Oh, not doing well, am I? I'm not doing well. It's like a match. I have got to get to the blue room to escape. Oh, there's the bloody key again. 
Oh, what's that now? Oh. Did I did I die and start again? Because I lost my vase now. <laughs> I lost my whole vase. Or maybe because I got. No, because I've still got all the. I've, I've used all the matches. I think either I accidentally dropped it as I was getting attacked. Or, because I got attacked so many times, maybe I... Did you see where I dropped it, guys? <laughs> if I, did I drop that whole vase? <laughs> I'm hoping it's still in one piece around here somewhere. Help! Uh, help! It's annoying when they come, I can't light the match. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> You just gotta sort of feel your way on the walls. It's it's still fun in a way, it's quite fun. Ah oh, This game definitely gets a big it gets a two thumbs up from me. I mean I'm oh I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I've had lots of fun. I think I used seventeen matches, I'm not sure. Um that is haunted house. And this has been our little journey. A little bit of fun, and I'll see you again in the next one, guys. Maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll do just a, a single game review, or maybe I'll do another one, little one like this where we just play through a few little games. As you watch the blue screen, no signal, counting down to turn off my telly. So try, guys. Look after yourselves. So long. <laughs>